say the first Foundation Girls Camp of 2022, how have you found it? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, thankfully today we've had the sun shining on us because it's been not the greatest of weather recently, but the girls have just given everything. It's been great to see um, girls from all over Glasgow and kind of further west region into the southwest coming along to our camps and our numbers have been good and it seems that they've all really enjoyed themselves. Yeah, it's the first one you've organised as well. How have you enjoyed that challenge? Yeah, it's been good. I mean, in my previous roles, I have organised very similar activities through the council, etc. So I did have that knowledge there on how to do them, but it's been great having the national foreman's players down to help and Liam as well leading on the camps. They've been a huge credit to the club. As well as you know, this event, it's been, I think, the first time we've done something that's lasted a whole week, as far as I can remember. Has that been kind of a challenge itself to make sure that, you know, you've had coaches and, and volunteers and people to help out throughout the course of Monday to Friday? I think it is a challenge but our guys are all young and keen and it's great to have them along and then had the first team players down which is that extra bit of motivation for the girls as well. There were two tired faces um, yesterday but they've all managed to push through in today's tournament day so they're all been raring to go so far. Tuesday and Friday you've had first team players involved, how big was that that they gave up their time and came along and, and had a bit of a Q&A and, and got involved with some of the drills and some of the, the games as well? Yeah it's been great to see, Like the girls are all great girls as well so for them to come down and be the role models that these young girls now have which is great for everybody to see. Like Myself we were very limited when we were younger now these girls have managed to see, I think, 10, 11, 12 players over the two days. And it's been great. The girls have been getting involved, playing rounders, playing games. Haley and Lauren made a few great saves today to keep my team in it. So I'm quite chuffed with that. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, how important is the camps? You know, this uh, Easter holiday, it's all these girls are off school. And maybe some, you know, maybe don't have the, you know, the exercise during the couple of weeks they're off school and stuff. Whether it's our Glasgow City Academy players or girls that have came across from the community, how important are these camps just for, for young girls in general to come along and play a bit of football, be active and, and kind of have a bit of fun? Yeah, I think it's great because, as I said, these camps weren't really about when we were younger, so I was maybe, I don't know, playing FIFA, playing Crash Bandicoot like during the two weeks at Easter, but for these girls getting the chance to come outside and play football with their teammates and make new friends from different clubs, etc., is a great opportunity for them. So hopefully this is first of many that I'm going to be running and hopefully we can get more and more numbers each time. And for girls that maybe aren't part of the club and, and maybe are, have came across along this week and thought, I quite fancy playing a bit of football, whether it's with Glasgow City or with a local club, what advice would you give to them? I would just say the ones that I've actually seen and spoken to and I've spoken to their parents, like Glasgow City are a club for all, but there are a few girls that play football out with Glasgow so I'm more than happy to assist them to find the club maybe in their local area or something as long as girls are playing football at clubs I'm happy. And just finally Easter camp out of the way what's what's next in the pipeline? What's next? Summer camps. <laughs> Planning for the summer camps. Um, we've got 19s have got their last couple of games coming up in the league so big push to try and get that league title over the line. First team obviously trying to push for the title. Up and running we've still got I think all bar one of our youth teams are still in the cup so got a lot going on just now which is really good.